Kiwis will be able to travel to and from Auckland in time for Christmas, as Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern revealed the government's upcoming plans. The border will be lifted on December 15, with only those who have received both doses of the COVID-19 vaccine or had returned a negative test 72 hours before departure allowed to travel out of the city. The rules are set to be in place until January 17, when vaccination levels were expected to be very high and testing and certificates would be used to slow the spread. Police will have operational discretion through spot checks and those who break the rules could face a $1,000 fine. On Auckland's northern boundary, police will work with iwi so people have confidence checks are in place to keep people safe. A significant amount of movement happens across the country during this period, so we have added this safety net to reduce spread, but have also been pragmatic. We set, for instance, drink driving laws with penalties, expect them to be upheld, and police undertake in those cases random spot checks on our roads to ensure that they are. We'll take the same approach here. It comes after 194 cases of COVID-19 were reported in the community today and a further person has died with the virus, a man in his 60s who is being treated at North Shore Hospital. There are 180 cases in Auckland, four in Northland, five in Waikato, seven in Lakes District and one in Canterbury. The Canterbury case has been found to have a clear link to the Auckland cluster. There are 88 cases in hospitals around the country today, down from 91 yesterday. Meanwhile, Cabinet is set to confirm Auckland's move to the traffic light system into red level on November 29. Ardern indicated the move to the new system would be very soon after the meeting and would be a similar time frame to level transitions as they have been in the past. On November the 29th, Cabinet will confirm the decision to move Auckland into the new traffic light system. As we have already signalled, we expect that move to occur soon after Cabinet meets and that Auckland will initially move into red, the highest level in the traffic light system. At that same meeting, Cabinet will confirm that the rest of the country will move into the framework at the same time as Auckland. Ardern said there had been a phenomenal increase in vaccination levels over recent months and the new framework would offer greater protection. On lower vaccinated areas, Ardern said vaccination levels would be key in deciding when those areas would move to different levels in the traffic light system. With safety and minimising the spread of the virus in mind, I can also confirm that Cabinet will look to move those areas with lower vaccination levels into the traffic light system at red. Earlier in the day, people wanting to download their vaccine passports on the My COVID record website, which is now live, faced a bumpy start when the site seemingly buckled under the pressure. People trying to access the service were told too many requests, but the website has been working well since and can produce about 200 vaccine certificates per second. As of today, more than a million people had downloaded their records.